Buenas tardes, Raiders. It's Jueves, April 25th, 2024. I'm Dynasty. And I'm Tyra, and here's your update for today. The annual Warren City School Art Show is happening this Friday, April 26th, from 5 to 7 p.m. in the Warren G. Harding Large Gym. Come out and see all of the amazing creations from students to our district. You will be amazed. There are also an award ceremony beginning at 6 p.m. So be there this Friday in the Warren G. Harding Gym to see inside the artistic minds of all students around Warren. It's time for the A-plus teacher award from the Tribune Chronicle. If you have a present or former teacher who has supported you in your learning journey, nominate him or her by submitting a nomination. Forms are available for Mr. Witt in room 2113. If you return the form to him, he'll turn it for you. Or you can email nominations to schaefer at triptoday.com. The deadline is tomorrow, April 26th, so do not wait. Nominate an A-plus teacher today for this awesome recognition. Students on Friday, May 17th, PBIS will be holding a field day for all students who stay in the W from April 8th through May 17th. The requirements are no more than three unexcused tardies to school, zero unexcused absences, no more than one ISI, zero expulsions for the entire year. Grades and tardies to class are an administrative decision, so stay in the W. And join us for a great time at a field day. Seniors, we need your baby and senior pictures or even pictures of you and your senior friends. Please begin to send these pictures to Don Harper on Teams as they are used for your senior video and prom. We are asking that if you are sending in group photos that there are no underclassmen in them and no obscene signs or faces. We want to showcase your senior class. Please start to send these and have them in by Thursday, May 2nd. Our amazing drama club is fundraising for next year. Come to the Millennium Boulevard Chipotle, April 30th from 4 to 8 p.m. to help support the arts at Harding. You can order online that day using the code A8CD9DW. Once again, that fundraiser is April 30th from 4 to 8 at Chipotle. Also for Drama Club, calling all singers interested in the stage. Drama Club is collecting a survey to see if students are interested in performing a musical next year. If you are interested, please respond to the survey on the QR code. We are tentatively hoping to put on a little shop of horrors next year, a dark comedy about a mad any plant from outer space. Seniors, don't forget that outside guests for prom must have a form turned in to Ms. Dawn, Ms. Raptors, or Ms. Lee by May 10th. You must have a copy of the guest state license or ID from with the form, they're turning it in. They're due by May 10th, no exceptions. Class of, 24, class of 2024, a reminder, you must have all of your senior dues, $58, paid in order to attend prom and to walk for graduation. Please see Ms. Calgaris in the Warren G. Harding book room for any more information. You can pay your dues by credit, debit card, money order, or cash. Seniors. Prom tickets will be sold during lunch, only the week of prom, May 15th, 16th, and 17th. The prices are $20 for singles and $35 for couples. The theme is Great Gatsby. Prom will be held at St. Demetrius on the Atlantic from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. We are asking for cash only. Also for prom, remember your prom requirements in order to attend prom on May 18th. There are posters and flyers that will remind you the requirements all throughout the school. Do you have what it takes to cheer on your WGH Raiders? School spirit, enthusiasm, and athleticism. If so, come out and try to become a Warren G. Harden cheerleader. The days for cheer clinics are Tuesday and Wednesday, April 30th and May 1st from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Cheerleader trials are being held on Thursday, May 2nd, starting at 2.45 p.m. All clinics and trials are being held in the WGH main gymnasium. You must sign up on the Google Doc form. QR codes are posted on flyers throughout the school. You are required to gather two teacher evaluations this year, and they are available in the athletic office. All forms must be turned in by your teacher by April 29th, no exceptions. Any questions, please see Coach Don in room 2409 pertaining to clinics and trials, or message her at Teams at Don Harper. This concludes your updates for today. Have an excellent Thursday. Excellent day. Hi, I'm Mia. And I'm Carter, and we are here with a special announcement for all our seniors. May 1st, 2024 is National Decision Day. We ask all of our seniors to wear their, col their future college, trade, or career attire to school on May 1st. This is a day to showcase your future path, Raiders. Please participate and showcase your future. Good day, Harding High School. It is Mr. Whitaker here with some news about the yearbook. Good news, kind of bad news. So... I will give you the bad news first. Unfortunately, the yearbook will not be in in time for the end of the school year. We were very ambitious trying to set our goal to get that done, 
And unfortunately, because of just deadlines and, and not being able to include spring sports, if we had to turn in early and uh, we know we can include things like prom now, we can include things like graduation now, but unfortunately the books will not be in until the summer. So seniors, you will get your books. They will either be here for pickup, we may find a way to deliver them to you, but if you body your book, you will get one underclassmen. You will get one uh, as soon as you return for the beginning of next school year. Uh, the yearbook will be here for you if you ordered it. So that's how they've been doing it for many years now. We were trying something new this year and unfortunately it, it was not uh, able to be done in time for the deadline. So that's the bad news is that if you ordered a book, you will get it, but it will not be until summer. So we apologize. I apologize in particular for that. Uh, secondly, the good news is that the yearbook now will be able to include those things. Uh, things like, uh, you know, graduation, what are going to be left out, things like prom. We can now include those things, uh, you know, in the book and have that for you. So also, we will have some extra copies. Uh, if you do not get to order one, we will have a few extra copies, not a bunch, uh, but a handful of them to be purchased once they arrive. So they will be here at the school. So you will be able to purchase them, uh, you know, secondarily. It just, we don't have a lot coming in extra, but a few will be here. So that is all for the yearbook, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. going on Raiders it's Cam and I'm Devonta and we're here with your birthdays happy birthday to Rondé McCullough and happy birthday to Steven Fajon that's all for your birthdays Raiders have a good one deuces good afternoon Raiders I'm Jamal and I'm here with your music review today's music review will be Taylor Swift's new album The Tortured Poets Department now in my opinion the album is Alright, I mean, there are a couple songs that stand out there. It's Taylor Swift. It's always going to have a couple songs that stand out there. But to me, I'd say it's far from like her previous best work. Don't get me wrong, the album isn't bad and it's definitely worth to listen to. But most of it is just, I nothing really to go crazy over. And for the music review, I'm going to have to give this album a solid like 7, 7.5 out of 10. It's not really Taylor Swift's best work, but it's far from her worst work either. It's kind of basically just average i guess but um yeah that's all i have for your music review raiders have a good day what's up raiders i'm ethan with your quote of the day quote by napoleon hill if you can't do great things do small things in great ways which means you don't have to do a great thing in a big old way. You could do it smaller, do smaller steps to have a better outcome. That's all for your quarter today. Have a great day, Raiders. What's up, Raiders? I'm Jay, and I'm here with the word of the day. Today's word is ubiquitous. Ubiquitous means present or everywhere. The word used in a sentence is sugar is ubiquitous in the diet. That's all I got for y'all today. Have a good one. Good morning, writers. It's your boy, Micah. I'm here with your movie for the weekend. Instead of movie for the weekend, though, we're going to do the series for the weekend. It, this, what I'm about to tell you guys only should take you guys three days if you do your time right. So the series for the weekend is Godfather of Harlem on Prime Video. It's about a drug lord named Bumpy Johnson who rose to fame. So I think everybody should go check it out if you're interested in any of that type of stuff. That's it for your movie slash series for the weekend. Have a great day, Raiders. What's up, Raiders? I'm Nate, and I'm here with your Throwback Thursday. Today's Throwback Thursday is the V-Smile Learning System. The V-Smile Learning System was released in 2004 and discontinued in 2010. Some of the games you can play on the console are Blue's Clues, Toy Story, Dora, Cars, and Wiggles, and many more. An additional Throwback Thursday is the Imagination Movers TV show. Have a good day, guys. Hey everyone, I'm Aubrey. And I'm Ava. And we're here with your riddle of the day. So Ava, you can go first. Okay, this is my riddle. <laughs> what has three feet but cannot walk? Any guesses? Nope. Girl, I got no clue. <laughs> you have to wait for me to Are respond. You... <laughs> like... A yardstick. 
Okay, go ahead. Okay, that was a good one. Okay, I am an odd number. Take away a letter and I become even. What am I? Seven. Yeah. Oh, no way! <laughs> you saw it on there, bro. Like, you're a cheater. 